Good morning and welcome to today's verse. To God be the glory. What a great day it is today. Today's verse, it comes to us from the book of Psalms, Psalm 34, verses 1 through 3. And it says this, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continuously be in my mouth. My soul shall make his boast in the Lord. The humble shall hear of it and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. What has your attention today? I mean, what has your attention right now? Is it your family? Is it your job? Is it your health? Is it some appointment that you need to make that has finally arrived? Whatever we give our attention to, whatever we focus on will often determine how we feel and how we interact with others. In our verse, David has recently escaped from Abimelech when he had pretended madness in the presence of the king. And we find that in the title of this particular psalm. David promised to bless the Lord at all times, in all situations, circumstances, whether good or bad, that he would bless the Lord at all times and that his praise would be continuously in his mouth. It is easy for us to bless the Lord when all is well when, or when something great has happened in our lives. But it is not so easy to bless the Lord when we are suffering loss or we've been afflicted. But scripture commands us to give thanks in every circumstance, knowing that God's will is being accomplished on our behalf. We find that in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 18. Being filled with the Holy Spirit, it enables us to bless the Lord at all times and in all circumstances for all things. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 20. David not only promised to bless the Lord at all times, but to give witness to those that have been rejected and those that were the outcasts about God's goodness. And, you know, in verse two, look at, listen to it again. It says this, the humble shall hear of it and be glad. I can imagine that David was gathered there in the cave of Adullam with those men that were outcasts. And he lifted up, he talked about the goodness of God and he encouraged them by hearing, by them hearing this. And then he invites others to do the same as he has done himself. Notice it says in verse three, David says this, oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. May we then, like David, not keep it to ourselves, but bless the Lord at all times and let his praise be continuously in our mouths. To God be the glory for the great things he has done. If you are from the position of praising God at all times, whatever you're going through, I guarantee you it won't be as difficult as you think it's going to be. To God be the glory. I pray you have a great day. Have a safe day. And then tune in again tomorrow. Yes. As we consider today's verse. Amen.